It is now my great pleasure to invite our youngest featured conversationist at just 10 years old, Bana al Abid from Syria, is the author of Dear World, and I would like to welcome her to the stage, Bana. Good evening, everybody. My name is Barna, and I'm 10 years old, a refugee from Syria. It's my honor to be here today and talk to you little about Syria, the war and education. It's more than eight years now, and the children are still paying the price of a war they didn't start. Tomorrow is the Children's Day, yet this year, hundreds of children were killed. For what? We can't accept this. Three years ago, I lived in Aleppo. You can't imagine what happened there. There was no single day without bombing. I tried to tell the world what was happening, and I had hope that someone would do something. But that didn't stop so many children from dying. My friend Yasamin is one of the children who were killed. I will never forget her. War didn't stop. Everything was destroyed. People just wanted to live. I will never forget the sad faces of all those children who just wanted to live. We stopped going to schools. Schools were not safe. There was nowhere to go. We were under siege. Life was very hard. Finally, we had to leave Aleppo. When I left, I was happy and sad. I was happy to get out of the war, but I was sad, very sad to leave my country. I pray for my country every day. Life is very bad. War goes on. That's the situation in Syria right now. But I would like to tell you this. There's always hope. I believe there's one big hope still there, and that's education. The last hope for the Syrian children is education. I believe education will set them free. But I'm sad to tell you, leaders are not doing enough for education in Syria. Millions of children right now are not getting enough education. Something must be done now, or there will be a lost generation in Syria. Education is the future of the Syrian children. We fail them to stop war. We can't fail them in education. That will be shame. Me and my mom want to bring together people and do more for education and peace. That's something we want to do. The other thing leaders can do is to protect the people who are in war zone. They can do more to protect the people and stop the bombing of the hospitals and schools. Just save more lives. It's a very big crime to children to be killed every day. But to just watch and do nothing is worst. Thank you.